Hello friends, here in this video we will see a problem on Venturi meter. For that here is a question. A vertical Venturi meter carries a liquid of relative density 0.8 and has inlet and throat diameters of 150 mm and 75 mm respectively. The pressure connection at the throat is 150 mm above that at the inlet. If the actual rate of flow is 40 liters per second and CD 0.96, calculate the pressure difference between inlet and throat. So this is the question in front of us. Now whatever is given here, I'll write the data and explain the kind of arrangement of the venture emitter. So first it is given vertical venture meter carries a liquid carries a liquid means this is a liquid inside the pipeline or we can say inside the venture meter it has a relative density relative density is the other word for specific gravity so specific gravity of the fluid which is flowing that is s of x x s is 0.8 and has inlet and throat diameters of so the inlet diameter is 150 mm of the venturi meter that will be d1 so i'll calculate area 1 that will be 17.67 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square then the diameter at the throat is 75 mm that is 0 0.075 meters so area 2 will be 4.42 into 10 raised to minus 3 next the pressure connection at the throat is 150 mm above that at the inlet that I'll explain in the diagram if the actual rate of flow actual rate of flow is nothing but actual discharge that is 40 liters per second LPS so I'll convert it into meter cube per second by multiplying it with 10 raised to minus 3 whenever you have it in terms of LPS that is the discharge converted into meter cube per second by multiplying by 10 raised to minus 3 because in the calculation we are not going to use the value in LPS but in meter cube per second remember then CD which is the coefficient of discharge is given as 0 0.96 calculate the pressure difference between inlet and throat so here we have to find out the pressure difference between that is P1 minus P2 inlet and throat so at first I'll draw the diagram of the venturi meter here so here I'll draw the diagram of the venturi meter
So in this way, the venturi meter is connected to the pipeline. And here I am assuming the direction as upward for the flow. So liquid enters at the bottom and leaves at the top. Now it is given that the pressure connection. Pressure connection means nothing but these, these can be pressure gauges or manometers. So here I have taken a differential YouTube manometer and connected at section 1 and 2. So the pressure connection at the throat is 150 mm above that at inlet. So section 1 is the inlet. Section 2 is the throat. So the pressure connection means the manometer is connected at a height of 150 mm above that of inlet. It means Z2 minus Z1 is given as 150 mm. So it is 0.15 meters. If the actual rate of flow is 40 LPS, which is the actual discharge, 40 LPS means it is 40 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second. Convert it into meter cube per second before solving the problem. Already I have written next CD is 0 0.96. Calculate the pressure difference between inlet and throat. We have to find out P1 minus P2. So with everything understood here, let us get started with the solution part to this problem. Now since actual discharge is given, I will start the problem from here. Since actual discharge is given by Q actual is equal to CD coefficient of discharge into Q theoretical. So therefore the actual discharge can be written as CD into Q theoretical is A1 A2 root 2 GH upon root of A1 square minus A2 square. So from here, if we see, actual discharge is given 40 into 10 raised to minus 3. CD coefficient of discharge 0 0.96 given. Area 2, area area 1 and area 2 we already have. G and 2 are constant. So we can find out H value from here. So I'll keep H on one side. That is, I can write this equation in a particular manner, keeping H on one side. So here, root H will be kept on one side Q actual will be multiplied with root of A1 square minus A2 square divide that by CD into A1 A2 into root of 2G because H I have kept on one side. Here I will be putting the values. So therefore, root H will be equal to Q actual is 40 into 10 raised to minus 3. Area 1 that is 17.67 into 10 raised to minus 3 area 2 4.42 into 10 raised to minus 3 and here divide this by CD which is 0 0.96 into area 1 <coughs> and area 2 so from this I will get the answer of root of H as 2.06 now I want the value of H so squaring on both sides root of h will become h 
and 2.06 that gives me 4.24 meter so 4.2 meter of this is in the form of the flowing fluid and here it is liquid so 4.24 meter of liquid it is not specified which kind of liquid is here then after that as mentioned we have to find out the pressure difference p1 minus p2 so how i'll get that i can say that h is also called as the difference in piezometric head at sections 1 and 2 so piezometric head is nothing but it is written as at section 1 the pressure head which is p1 upon rho g plus the potential head which is z1 since it is different so minus at section 2 it is p2 upon rho g pressure head at section 2 then the potential head which is z2 now i'll keep pressures together and these elevations together so here i can write it in this way p1 minus p2 upon rho g and then plus z1 minus z2 next therefore h will be equal to p1 minus p2 upon rho g now when i take minus common so it will be written as z2 minus z1 and this is the height which is given to us so here h value is we have found out 4.24 the pressure difference is what we have to calculate rho g the fluid is having specific gravity as 0 0.8 so here itself i can say the density of the fluid will be 0 0.8 into 1000 so therefore it is 800 kg per meter cube so 800 into 9.81 minus nz2 minus z1 is 0 0.15 therefore p1 minus p2 will come out to be 34.45 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square or when i divide this by 1000 it will give me the answer in the form of 34.45 kilopascal Therefore, pressure difference between inlet and throat section is equal to 34.45 kilopascal. And that was asked in the question. So with this, we complete the problem.